create animated AI videos with Steve AI and ChatGPT. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about that, stick around to the end. Hey, I'm Henry and I'm from Product Creation Formula. Here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So, if that's the sort of thing that interests you, have it you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon, so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Alright guys, let's go check it out. Alright, so let's just jump straight into it. Now, over here, you've got your basic plan. We're, this is the, we're going to be looking straight at the pricing. Uh, that's what a lot of you are interested in. So, this one here is a basic plan, and it gives you, it's $180 build a year. It's a 720p re video resolution, five videos, downloads per month, multiple video styles and live action, no Steve AI branding, 10 credits per, per month using of their premium assets. Over here you got $45 a month, which is a starter pack, everything in the basic, plus 15 video downloads per month, 108 resolution, 10 video voiceover accents, 25 video premium credits. And over here, which is the one I'm on, which is the pro version, everything in starter plus, 40 video downloads, which is more than one per day. This other one here is one every second day. 2K video resolution, 20 uh, voiceover accents, and 50 credits to use in premium assets per month. So this is Steve AI. Of course, that's billed yearly, and it does go up about $20 a month if you decide to go monthly. So it, it's cheaper to do it this way, or do it this way, than it is if you're doing it yearly, if you're doing it yearly than it is to do it monthly. So. I'll leave a link for this in the description. It won't be an affiliate link, so if you do buy it, I won't get anything for it, and that's okay. So let's go and have a look at what it looks like. Now over here, you've got your text to animation, and this is where you, all the magic happens. And the, as you can see, these are some of the videos that I've previously created in the past. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this particular case is we're going to be using this particular one. Now, I haven't got a script written up yet because I'm going to be using ChatGPT to create that script. Now, what you can do here, you've got auto-generate script. Now these are scripts that are already previously generated and all you have to do is just change and so forth if you wish to. So I'm going to get rid of that. We don't need that. So let's go over here to chat GPT. I already have a prompt pre-written up, so I'm just going to copy that and put that straight into here. And I'll have a quick read of what it says. My name is Henry and I run a YouTube channel called Product Creation Formula. Please write in a detailed YouTube script about how to create an animated video using chat GPT and Steve AI. Steve AI is a program that allows you to input up to 60 lines of text. It creates professional looking animated videos for you. You can upload your own voiceovers use a, or use one of their built-in AI voice generated vo voices. It uses animated cartoon characters that can uh, use various expressions and actions. They, can, they can't walk across the screen, but they can walk on the spot, giving the illusion of walking. But you can also record your own voice on it, but be aware you will need to record the entire script in one sitting without making any mistakes. I suggest that you record your voice on Audacity and line uh, the audio up with the download video using your video editing software of choice. Please write it in a friendly and casual voice. I'm 59 years old. Please write it in an age appropriate way. Okay, so all I'm going to do is hit that. And in just a moment, it's going to write the script. So I'm going to pause the video until it's finished. Okay, so this is actually a surprisingly long script. So I'm just going to copy all of this. Now, of course, there are certain things I don't want on here. Like, for example, closing and where they put my name in there and so forth. So what I want to do is I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to place that into a text document. So bear with me one second while I do that. Bring that over here. Now, I'm going to just format a little bit, get rid of some of the things like closing and Henry. So I don't need all that. And then once I've done all this, I will come right back and we'll keep going. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight over the top of that, go control A to select it all. And we're just going to copy that. And we're going to go straight across to Steve AI. And we're going to place that into the area just here. So we're going to go control V and wait for that to come in. And we'll have a look and see how many lines it does. It may be over 60 lines, I don't know. So we'll find out in a second. Okay, so it looks like it may be within the range. It might be okay. It's all good, it's 55 lines. That works out perfectly. All right, so that's really good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna title it. Okay, I titled it pretty similar to the last video I had made on this topic, which was 
create animated videos with Steve AI and ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is we now are going to name this over here by clicking on here. We're going to be calling this one here AI. So as it gives an idea as to what we're doing, we are doing the animation video. Make sure that it does say animation. We're going to be using the sources and because I don't want to be sitting here trying to read the entire script without stumbling over my lines, I uh, am choosing to use the AI voiceover. Now, they do give you the option to record your own voice if you want to, but just be aware that it's one of those ones where you have to read it all the way through without making a single mistake. If you've got 50 to 60 lines, that can be a little bit difficult. Unless you're really good at reading, I tend to make a lot of mistakes when I'm reading. I stumble over my words and I have a slight stutter occasionally. So I would prefer to do this in audacity, like what I mentioned earlier in the previous one. And the reason I want to do that is because I can stumble and stutter and I can fix up the mistakes I previously made, which then makes the whole process look and sound a lot more professional. Then what I do is I go over to my software of choice, which is my video editor, which is Camtasia. And then I line up the, the audio along with the actual images as well. And this way I can keep it on track. All right. So with that being said, all I have to do now is hit next. We need to choose a particular format that we want to go for. So I might just choose this one instead. Okay. So I'll choose this one. And then once it's finished creating, we can then have it. We can go and have a look at what it's done. Once it's finished creating, we can then add the voiceover to it and make a choice. Now, one of the first things you're going to want to do is create the voiceover. So we're going to click on here and we're going to choose the actual voiceover. As I said, you can choose to record your own voice, but just be aware if you do choose to do that, you have to read it all the way through without stumbling. Or you can use a Steve AI voice and that's what we're going to be using today. So I'm going to be using US. I'm going to choose over here. We're going to choose a male voice and then we can choose from the selection that they have. It's not a huge selection. So I would strongly suggest maybe Matthew or Joey. I'm going to choose Matthew in this particular case. You can also have a listen to what they sound like. So bear with me while I keep quiet while they while you hear it. Hello, I'm Matthew from Steve. I'm one of the voices you can use to make your text lifelike. When I read your text, it sounds like this. Or you can choose Joey if you wish to. Hello, I am Joey from Steve. I'm one of the voices. Okay, and let's go have a look at the next one. Justin. Hello, I am Justin from Steve. Sounds like a child. Probably not a good idea. And also Kevin is a child too. So I'm just going to stick with Matthew and see what we go from here. And all we have to do is hit generate voice and it will then generate the voice and put it across all the scenes. There we have it. Successful update. So all the voices are now done. You can also choose the different kind of music they have. This one here is ancient times. Let's have a listen to that. So we can choose what we want to do. You can choose what type of music it's going to be. It can, it can be ambient or pop or rock or whatever you want. Or you can choose to not have any music at all. It's up to you. So, and all you need to do is go through and have a look and see if you're actually happy with what this scene does. Sometimes they put things that are not relevant to the scene and this is okay. You can choose to keep it like that or you can put an animated video character there. Now let's go and have a look over here. This is a gentleman on here. So let's click on that. We can change the action. So we can choose to change the character action by clicking on that. We can also choose their expression if we wish to. By choosing the expression, we can choose whether it's going to be sad or angry or whatever. And also the action allows you to be able to choose what they're actually doing. If we make it relevant to what is in the actual scene, as you can see, they do have lots and lots and lots of different kinds of actions that your character can do. So that is something you've got here. You've got this option. So let's have a listen to what this one sounds like. Ancient times. And let's have a listen to what this is like. Okay, so that's fine. So let's now just choose that and now let's go hit publish. If you're happy with it, you, are, you can go straight ahead and have a look at what is here. So it's up to you. And basically my suggestion would be go through all the scenes. Don't just say, yeah, I'm happy with it without even checking it out because it may be different to what you expect. All right, so let's go over here. We'll be using ChatGPT and Steve AI. Okay, so maybe it might be better off. Yeah, you see. Well, you're in luck because today we're going to talk about an incredible combination of AI technology that can be help create help you create professional looking animated videos. Let's go here. He's not looking very happy. Let's change his actual character expression. So let's go here to expressions and we'll make him happy because he looks like he's going to be extreme, extremely happy. So 
Let's go. That wild expression, that's great. Okay, so he's going to be looking a lot happier in a moment. Okay, so we go over here. So let's jump right in. You can actually change that. Let's go over here to properties. Go change cap, change property. Go there. Let's go to character. And we can go back and choose a character. Can be him, it can be a different person if you wish to. I'm just going to choose him. And we're going to have him change actions as well by clicking on that and change the action. I might make him jump for joy. Yeah, that looks good. That's great. I'm going to make him a little bit bigger if I can. Oh, no, I'll leave it like that. That's fine. And you can just move through and have a look at what it's all about. And once you're happy with it, you then hit publish. It's very simple, very easy. And the best part about it is you can now go over here. You can choose what definition you have if you've chosen, if you've got the pro version, which is what I've got, or you can go to 2K if you wish to. But I find that 2K is probably a little bit over the top, and it also takes a lot longer to download. So 108, as far as I'm concerned, is perfectly fine. So I'm just going to hit download, and you can also watch it all the way through. Don't worry about that. That won't be there when you first download it. And all you need to do is, is hit play, and we'll have a listen to what it's... Welcome back to Product Creation Formula, the channel where we explore the latest tools and techniques for creating amazing content. Today, we have an exciting topic for all you content creators out there. We'll be diving into the world of AI animated videos using chat. GPT and Steve AI. I'm your host, Henry, and I can't wait to show you how to bring your ideas to life in a fun and engaging way. So, let's get started. That'll do. As you can see, it wasn't too bad. I did have a little issue with you know, how it said chat GPT. But that's not a problem. I just a little bit of mucking around with that, and that will get fixed up, no problem at all. But once you you can go back to do that, to just go hit workspace, you can go back there and then re-edit what you want to do, and then once you're happy with it, play through with it, and then hit download. So we're just going to hit download and let it download. And once it's all finished, you just download this to your desktop or wherever you want to keep it, and you're right to go. Okay, guys. If you got some value out of this video, how about you smash the like button, as well as subscribe, and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at want to consider sharing, and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the combination of using Steve, Steve AI and ChatGPT together. Also to let you know that right here is a video I believe you might like. Down here is a video YouTube thinks you might like, and right here is an image of my head. Now, if you click on that or poke me in the forehead with your finger, you'll be able to subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and bye for now.